Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 43 of the chapter Hydrocarbons. In part 42, we started talking about the properties of the, the physical and chemical properties of aromatic hydrocarbons. And I told you when we discussed the chemical properties that there are three main chemical properties uh, of aromatic hydrocarbons. The first is electrophilic substitution, the second is addition reactions and the third is oxidation. So since we were doing both physical and chemical properties yesterday, I did the other two, that is the second and the third properties first, because electrophilic substitution, which is actually the most important chemical property of aromatic hydrocarbons, requires a little more uh, description, and therefore I'm going to dedicate two videos to this. So let us start with electrophilic substitution reactions in the case of aromatic hydrocarbons. Electro now before I actually come to the uh, mechanism of the reaction, let us just see what are these reactions and where do we see uh, or where do we see examples of these electrophilic reactions. Electrophilic substitution is basically a mechanism because of which we call them electrophilic substitution reactions. But the examples of electrophilic substitution reactions in the case of aromatic hydrocarbons are nitration, halogenation, sulfonation, acylation, and Friedel, Friedel Kraft's alkylation and acylation. So let us just understand these reactions first before we go into, the, in the next video, before we go into the uh, mechanism. The first is nitration. Now what is important, of course, uh, when you understand the, um, the mechanism, the mechanism basically, let me just give you a hint, electrophile. Electro means electron. Electrons are negatively charged. As we know, the benzene ring has pi electrons, pi bonds in it. And these free electrons, delocalized electrons, kind of invite a positively charged object towards or uh, an atom or a group of atoms towards itself. Anything that is positively charged will be attracted to the negative charge. And anything that is positively charged is attracted to negative or electrons. Therefore, it is phyl means, philic means loving. So electrophile is a species that is attracted to negative charge. So electrophilic substitution reaction. It means the attack on the benzene ring takes place by an electrophile first. And that is why they are known as electrophilic substitution reactions. So first the electrophile attacks and then the substitution occurs, which we will understand when we do the mechanism. So the first example is nitration. In the case of nitration, the electrophile is the NO2 group. NO2 group is electrophilic. It is attracted to electrons. So the nitro group is added when benzene is heated with a nitrating mixture. What is nitrating mixture? Nitrating mixture is a, a very strong um, I mean, it's a mixture of very strong or concentrated uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acids. So extremely strong acids and a mixture of those. So under really drastic conditions, nitration occurs. But the, the mechanism is electrophilic. So nitro group is added to the benzene ring when it is heated with a nitrating mixture and of course it leads to it's not actually an addition reaction it is a substitution reaction it is first add, added and in the next step the hydrogen would be removed so it's a substitution reaction so this is benzene ring in the presence of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated H2SO4 it leads to the addition of or the substitution of NO2 group one of the hydrogens of benzene is substituted by an NO2 group. The hydrogen, which is removed, combines with the OH of water or uh, the OH present in the solution and results in the formation of water. So the product that you get here is nitrobenzene. Second example of electrophilic substitution reaction is halogenation. Addition or substitution of halogen. Substitution of hydrogen by halogen. So arenes react with halogens in the presence of a Lewis acid. If you remember, you've done acids uh, and bases in your grade 10 also, and you know the definitions of acids, bases and salts. Acids 
According to the Lewis definition of acid, an acid is an electron pair acceptor. We know acids are anything that donate a, a proton or anything that donates proton would, can, would be able to accept the electron also. So arenes, they react with halogens. In the presence of a Lewis acid, examples of Lewis acids are anhydrous AlCl3, anhydrous ferric chloride FeCl3 or anhydrous FeBr3, ferric bromide, ferric chloride and aluminum chloride. In the anhydrous state, they act as Lewis acids. So arenes, they react with halogens in the presence of a Lewis acid. So we take benzene, we make it react with chlorine in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3, which is a Lewis acid because it is an electron pair acceptor. It results in the formation of chlorobenzene and HC. The next uh, electrophilic substitution reaction is sulfonation. The, uh, when, sulfonic, the, when sulfonation occurs, the benzene, when, when benzene is heated with fuming sulfuric acid, sulfonation occurs. Fuming sulfuric acid means it is concentrated sulfuric acid and it is fuming, it's really hot extremely extremely corrosive acid you would say it is the strongest possible form in which uh, h2so4 can exist it is concentrated it is hot it is fuming and this fuming concentrated sulfuric acid is known as oleum again you notice the conditions are very drastic so benzene in the presence of oleum that is fuming sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is so highly concentrated that even and since it is fuming some of the water is it is even dehydrated and even stronger because of that. If you have H2SO4, SO3, the H2O from one of the molecules is lost and therefore SO3 of the second molecule is also present in the molecule. And therefore, it is fuming sulfuric acid, oleum. When this reacts with benzene, it, the SO3H group is added. The sulfonic acid group is, sulfonation occurs and you get benzene sulfonic acid. So, the SO3H group forms the sulfonic acid. So, you get benzene sulfonic acid and H2O is formed. Here, the addition of the sulfonate group is also uh, an electrophilic substitution reaction. The next example of electrophilic substitution reactions is Friedel Crafts alkylation. What is alkyl? Addition of alkyl group is would be known as alkylation. So uh, what is an alkyl group? R group it is uh, for example methyl one hydrogen less than an alkane would form an alkyl group. So alkylation. If you take benzene, when benzene is treated with alkyl halide with a haloalkane, when you make benzene react with a haloalkane, it results in the alkylation. The alkyl group is added to the uh, benzene ring and the hydrogen that comes out combines with chlorine to form hydrogen chloride. So when benzene is treated with alkyl halide in the presence of, again, here we need anhydrous AlCl3. Both Friedel-Crafts alkylation and Friedel-Crafts acylation reactions, remember, they take place in the presence of uh, anhydrous AlCl3. So in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3, the alkylation occurs. So CH3 will come and add to the benzene ring and the hydrogen that it replaces will come and form HCl. And this compound where in, on benzene, when you have CH3, the common name is toluene and toluene is now accepted in the IUPAC nomenclature also. Then you have benzene, it combines with C2H5Cl. Here the alkyl group is the ethyl group. In the presence of anhydrous AlCl3, the ethyl group will add on to the benzene ring, giving you ethyl benzene and the hydrogen that it replaces will combine with chlorine to give you hydrogen chloride. So this was Friedel-Crafts alkylation. The next reaction is Friedel-Crafts acylation. What is the acyl group? Acyl group is COCH3, right? So again, in Friedel-Crafts acylation, what would happen? Instead, here we had the alkyl halide. Here we have the acyl halide. 
but rest of the reaction is the same. When you, when an acyl halide reacts with benzene in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3, acylation of the benzene ring occurs. So, reaction of benzene with acyl halide or acid, what is acyl halide? Acid or acid anhydride, which will also provide the acyl group. So, acyl halide or acid anhydride in the presence of Lewis acid, which is anhydrous AlCl3, it will give you, it will give you uh, the acyl, um, acylation of the benzene would occur. For example, here you have benzene. And this is CH3COCl, which is acetyl chloride. Acetyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3 on heating will give you acetophenone. Benzene ring with COCH3. Here again with benzene, this is acetic anhydride. What is acetic anhydride? See, what is an acid, carboxylic acid? Acetic acid is CH3COOH. Two molecules of CH3COOH, remove one water molecule, you'll get CH3COO and the two hydrogens and one oxygen is removed. Therefore, you get CH3CO, CH3CO combined with one oxygen. So that is acetic anhydride. Acetic anhydride will also provide the CH3CO group. But what will you, you be left with when one CH3CO group is given to benzene, the hydrogen will now combine with CH3COO and H. So you will get the acid. You will get carboxylic acid and COCH3 will be produced. So these were the electrophilic substitution reactions basically. Now there's a point here uh, to be noted that if you use an excess of any electrophilic agent, any of these electrophilic, uh, in any of these electrophilic reactions, if you use excessive electrophile, in each of these reactions, we notice that only one of the hydrogens was uh, substituted. But if, for example, we use a lot of excess of chlorine when we are carrying out the halogenation, if we use excess of chlorine in the presence of, of course, the Lewis acid, but if the conditions are dark and cold, and we provide a lot of excess of the electrophile. Under such conditions, you, you find that all the hydrogens of benzene ring will be substituted by chlorine. So you will get all of the hydrogens will, come, will be substituted by chlorine. All the hydrogens will be lost and you will get 6-HCl. And you will get hexachlorobenzene. And what will be the formula of hexachlorobenzene? What is the formula of benzene? It is C6-H6. All the six hydrogens are replaced by chlorine. So the formula of hexachlorobenzene would be C6Cl6. Right? So these were just examples of electrophilic substitution reactions and the reactions that you would have to memorize. I would suggest that today you just go through all of these. And once you are kind of uh, try to memorize them, basically it is the same thing. There are different groups. There's nitrate group, nitration occurs, the, there's nitro group, there's a, the halogenation occurs, sulfonation occurs, acylation and alkylation. There are five reactions. So you just have to see what happens under what conditions it occurs and how it substitutes one of the hydrogens of benzene to give you the product. And in the next video, I'll explain how this process takes place and why uh, we call it the electrophilic substitution reaction of benzene. With this, I'll wind up today's video. If you wish to see the other videos of this chapter, click the link that appears on top of the video. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends, and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.